If your church isn't preaching the Bible on Sunday, run. Get out of there. You don't need a snack. You're being prepared for the rest of the week. You need a buffet. For some of you, you're saying, does Jesus care about the teaching of his church? Go to John chapter 21. Again, it's the reinstatement of Peter. What's Jesus say? He says, feed my sheep. In the NIV, it's feed, take care of, feed all my sheep. However, in verse 15 of King James of chapter 21, it's feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. Many of you know when Jesus says something three times, it's pay attention. He was tapping Peter for the head of the Jerusalem church. Peter was going to be the first one to give a message in Acts chapter 2, and 3,000 people were going to be added to their numbers. Now, we're living in 2 Timothy chapter 4, kind of days. The kind of days where men put around themselves what their itching ears want to hear. The Bible says don't do that. Paul in his swan song to Timothy saying no, preach the word. If you're not getting the words of God from Genesis to Revelation, if you're not experiencing the exaltation of Jesus Christ, then it's your own fault if you stay there. Don't say God called you to be a missionary to a church like that. You're responsible for your soul if you're married, your spouse's soul, and your children's soul. You are to get what God thinks because God says my people perish for lack of knowledge. You need a pastor who takes seriously, he's under double judgment, for preaching the truth of Christ. When you do that, you get God's voice because God's voice is rightly heard when his word is rightly preached. Feed my sheep. If you're going to a church that's not preaching the Bible, run. God's got something so much better for you than that.